Breaker Broke 23, I want to take a few minutes and discuss um, something that I get asked from time to time. Why do some Bluetooth units have an on-off switch? Why don't some units have, a, have an on-off switch? And I think that's a very good question. I actually had that question myself back in the day. So quite a while ago, I was looking um, for a new Bluetooth 5.0 device to review, and I came across many, but I whittled it down to these two, the Blue Me HD and the Blue Dento BLT HD. I liked the specs on both of these. They were new Bluetooth 5.0 technology. I liked the um, the the analog outputs. I liked, you know, that they had Toslink output. I was really interested in that. So I couldn't really decide. I spent a couple days trying to decide which one I was going to pull the trigger and buy first. And I actually went with the Blue Me HD first because to me, this was more familiar. The Blue Me HD has an on off switch. In this case, it's an MFB button, which is a multifunction button, meaning that I can push and hold the switch to turn it on. I can push and hold the switch to turn it off. I can double click the switch and put it into pairing mode. So I really like that. I really like this device. This is a really nice device. This will work for a lot of people that have uh, modern stereo systems with no um, switched 110 volt output on the back. So you can turn this on and off if you'd like, or you can just leave it on all the time and it's ready to go uh, when uh, you want to pair to it. So not a problem at all. That's just the way that unit's designed. All right, so then I went and I pulled the trigger on the BLT HD. Um, this was kind of like new to me at the time. I'm just like, well, like, where's the on off switch? I mean, how do you, you leave it on all the time? Say what? So anyway, yeah, that's kind of the way this one goes. The only way to turn this on and off is by either giving it power or cutting power to it. And I thought, well, okay, that's kind of cool. I run old vintage stereos. I have vintage preamplifiers. So all of my gear has a, a, a switched 110 volt output on the back of the receiver or preamp. So whenever I turn my stereo on or off, it turns this on or off. I mean, no big deal. However, one day I ran out of um, sockets in the back and I just hooked this up to an extension cord. And I'm like, yeah, it's on all the time. This is really weird. I'm not really too sure how I'm going to like this. Well, I actually like it a lot. And I like it because when I don't have a phone, tablet, or computer paired to this, this is always in a discovery mode. That's why the light is blinking right now. A discovery mode is basically, how can I say this? It's the Bluetooth device sending out a small signal and it's telling you, hey, I'm here. I'm a Blue Dento BLTHD and I want to be discovered. I want to be hooked up to. So you grab your phone, you put your phone in Bluetooth. All of a sudden it comes up, it says BLTHD. You hit it, you pair to it. A couple seconds later, it's a done deal. The light stops flashing and turns to solid blue. It's good to go. All right, so you stream, you do whatever you want to do. You turn your phone off or you cut the Bluetooth switch off on your phone and it goes back into a discovery mode, waiting to be discovered by any of your other devices. So I really, I really like that feature. And I got to be honest with you, you know, no matter which one of these two you do, this one will still do a, a discovery mode as well. But no matter what, what it is, is by any one of these being on all the time, it doesn't really draw any more current or electricity than just having your little AC adapter plugged in in the first place with nothing hooked up to it. I'm sure we all do that with our cell phones. I mean, my wife does that. She leaves her adapter plugged into the wall all the time, and she just comes and unplugs the phone and plugs the phone back in, and it's good to go. These are not really making the AC adapter uh, suck any current. So what is it? what is something like this going to cost you per month? to leave on 24 seven, like maybe a penny. I mean, it's, 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 it's literally nothing and it's more of a convenience. So I guess really at this point is what I'm trying to say is these two are really comparable units. Um, it's just, do you want an on off switch? And I like being able to have that freedom of doing so. Um, I got to, I got to admit though, I'm getting spoiled with this, um, auto pairing or the, um, or the, the matrix of being able to just uh, pair to this thing whenever you want to. Now, some of the other units, 
Uh, there are other devices on the market like the iFi Zen Blue. Um, I really like that piece. That's a really good one. It's a, it's about, uh, what, $80 more expensive. You know, it's about an $80 jump. But what those will do is those are on all the time. Um, and then after you unhook your cell phone or your tablet from it, about 15 minutes later, they go to sleep, meaning there's no more blinking lights. However, it's still on. You just don't have the light. Then when you turn on your tablet or your cell phone and you open up your Bluetooth settings on your phone, you'll see the iFi Audio Zen Blue. You click on it and it wakes it up and everything is good to go. So anyway, um, I love the modern Bluetooth technology. It's great. So anyway, I recommend both of these pieces. It's just up to you. Do you want to switch or not? No big deal. They both do a very fine job at what they're designed to do. And that's streaming music from a portable device to a home stereo. Thanks for watching. Please leave questions down below and uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for all of your support. I really appreciate my viewer support.